Hey, what's up? This is Omari Harbin uh, of sqsbthemes.com. And today I'm going to show you how to set up the accordion tabs plugin, AKA the echo tabs plugin. Now this is broken up into four, uh, well, three, three steps. Um, the first step is simply installing the plugin. I'm going to show you how to upload the files and where to copy the code. The next step is actually add in the, the tabs or the accordion to your site, to a page. Um, and then the final step is customizing those tabs or customizing the accordion to, to fit the style and of your site. All right, so let's jump in real quick uh, and I'm gonna show you how to upload the files and where to copy the code. So once you download the zip, hopefully you're able to extract the files, extract the contents, and then open up this instructions.html file. Um, if you're not able to do that for some reason, uh, get in touch with us. We'll try our best to help you out, but um, it's a zip, so you should be able to just extract the contents. And once you've done that, then you can go over it to the not linked section, hit the plus sign, go down to link, click this gear icon, go down to file, and you can drag and drop the CSS and the JavaScript file um, in here, or you can click and upload them. So here are the two files. I've already uploaded them. And believe it or not, you can simply hit close and you can hit close here again. Uh, there's no need to create a link or press save. The files have already been uploaded. All right. And so once you've done that, you're ready to move on to the second step, which is um, copy and paste in this code in the code injection. So I'm going to hit copy and I'm going to navigate to the code injection via settings, advanced code injection, and then scroll down to footer. Now you can see I've already pasted it, but uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to paste it again, hit save. And now our, uh, now, now we're ready to go. Okay. Now there are two ways to use this. I'm going to show you, um, both ways really quickly. And then finally, I'm going to show you, uh, how to customize the way this is styled. And you're going to see exactly why or in what instance you might want to do that. So looks like I already have a, a demo loaded up here. And this demo is 7.1. And so with 7.1, you can use a portfolio style page to store your content. So I'm going to create one. Okay, this is portfolio three. So the URL is probably going to be portfolio slash or dash three. And you can see there are four sections here. Each section has or has its own content. And ultimately what we want is we want each one of those uh, portfolio pieces or sections to show up as their own tab on a separate page. All right, so I'm gonna create a blank page and I'm gonna call this port folio three stuff. And now I'm gonna click edit. I'm gonna add some page content. It's gonna be blank. Okay, now let me go back over here to my instructions and this is the code that I'm going to paste to add these tabs. All right. Now there's a couple of things that you can, you can change one. You can set this to just be tabs only, uh, or just an accordion only, um, or both a hybrid, meaning that on a desktop, it's going to show up as tabs on a, on mobile. It will show up as an accordion. And then here we have the portfolio page URL. So in this case, it's going to be portfolio dash three. And um, you can open up a specific tab. You know, you can uh, open a tab on Harvard. There's a couple of different options you can you can play around with. But I'm going to hit copy. 
and I'm going to paste that here on this page in a code block. And let's paste that. And now I'm just going to save this. And you can see my four portfolio sections now show up as tabs. Now you might notice that these tabs are white and the font is white because the the template that I have here has white font by default so that means that we're gonna have to to customize the styling so that we can see this um, and so I'm actually gonna jump ahead and, and make that customization so you can see it in real time and then I'm gonna show you the second way that you can add an accordion or tabs to your page so let's scroll down and let's jump into the customization. Now, as you can see here, there are a lot of things you can customize, but we've uh, kept it simple in the sense that you don't have to fiddle with any CSS yourself. You can simply um, make all the changes here and see what it looks like at the same time, right? So let's change, first of all, the background color of our tabs. Uh, here we are. Let's make it black so that the white font stands out. And you can see there's a lot more that I could change, but I'm going to leave it at that. And I'm going to come down here and I'm going to hit copy custom CSS. And I'm going to paste those styles in my custom CSS. And now um, you can see I need to do something else. All right, so uh, it looks like on hover, um, the background is still white. So let's go back over here. Okay, so background color, active state, it's currently white. Let's make it, let's make it green, dark green or something. All right, now I'm gonna have to copy these styles again. And I'm gonna delete what I just pasted and there we go All right so now I feel a little bit better because it doesn't look crazy um, and so there there you have it all right and if this was on mobile you can see I've got an accordion style all right now, I promised to show you another way that you can uh, set up these tabs without using a portfolio or an index section if you're on 7.0. And so I'm just going to use a regular page. And not seeing anything. There it is. All right. So I've got three paragraphs here. And um, I want each one of these paragraphs to be their own tab. So the way we do that is using a markdown block. And this is the kind of overall schematic, right? So you're going to use a markdown block for tab one. Uh, and then whatever content that's going to be under that tab falls underneath that markdown block. And then you've got another markdown block for tab two. That content falls underneath it. And then finally, a code tab that is going to reveal our tabs. I mean, a code block that's going to reveal our tabs. Okay, so let's go down to edit and let's add these markdown blocks. So let's add the first one. And let me go back and grab the single line here of code that we need. And call this tab one. And I'm going to add another markdown block here. Tab two. And then here. Tab three. Oops. Tab three. 
and then finally we need this code here now because I'm not pulling this content from a portfolio or index page um, I don't need that just copy this and I'm gonna paste that in a code block here hit apply and then hit save and here you can see each one of those paragraphs now have their own tab it's the same paragraph so it's the same thing showing up each time um, and these are the same stylings that we just set up using the other um, that we just set up period so there you have it um, if you have any questions please reach out support at sqspthemes.com and we'll be happy to help um, yeah so that's it again if you have any trouble if you get stuck somewhere if something doesn't make sense um, if you feel like maybe you did something wrong or you missed something or maybe I didn't uh, go into something in enough, enough depth, please just get in touch. We're here to help. That's the reason why we're doing this stuff. All right. So take care.